homes wrapped in cardboard? We need to talk about which Dallas builders are doing this and which ones aren't. Well, hello, hello, I'm Wendy Pinnell, and today we're visiting a pretty controversial topic, this whole issue of sheathing. And we are no holds barred here, all right? We're gonna tell you four builders who are using a different, sturdier product, and we're gonna tell you five builders who are unashamedly sticking with the thin stuff. Now, if you have no idea what sheathing is, in the world of new construction, it's a hot topic. HRTI describes it this way. They say, sheathing is the material installed directly over the studs and interior insulation of a framed house. Typically, sheathing is then followed by a vapor barrier material and then the siding of choice. Sheathing is one of the layers used in the siding of the home. Sheathing is supposed to provide structural support to the home, but it's also supposed to provide protection from the elements. So think protection from water, wind, temperature, and even noises outside. Okay, so this is Dallas, where we routinely see temperatures above 100 degrees, sometimes for like days on end. So when it comes to those electric bills and energy efficiency, this whole issue of sheathing is vital. Now, the issue here is that some builders are using a very dense, sturdy sheathing, such as OS USB board or plywood, and some are using this really thin product called T-ply or thermal ply, which seems to be rather unpopular in the world of contractors due to it being just about as thick as a piece of cardboard. So let's talk about four builders who are taking the high road here, who go with a sturdier, denser product. Because as a buyer, you deserve to know this information. If you're investing, you know, five, six, you know, maybe even $900,000 on your home, you need to know the part of it that's going to be covered up. Okay, so Dallas builders that use a sturdier product, let's talk about them. First up, we have Normandy Homes. One of the pages on their website describes the stages of new construction, and here's what it says about sheathing. During stage two framing, they report, we also wrap each Normandy home in a zip system as your new home's weather barrier. It right, sounds pretty good, okay, but what is a zip system? Well, Huber Engineered Woods describes it this way. Zip system wall sheathing panels are made of a high quality water resistant OSB oriented strand board that is rated structural one for increased shear capacity. A protective water resistive barrier is integrated into the panel during the panel manufacturing process. So essentially with zip, you get the OSB, but it also has a water resistive barrier. Now that's important because a lot of the feedback you see on contractor websites is that T-ply should be used in conjunction with something sturdier like OSB. And that's what Normandy does. Next up, let's talk about Grand Homes. They have what they refer to as thermo sheathing that is five times more resistant to water penetration than the code standard. Now here's the thing about Grand Homes. When I reached out to the sales consultant about what kind of sheathing they use, the vice president of the company actually provided the information. And I thought that was pretty awesome, okay? Because this is exactly something you wanna see in a builder. Management that's accessible and shares openly about the materials they're using. So Grand Homes uses RMAC sheathing with taped seams for wind and water sealing. It has an added value of an additional R3 insulation value versus thermoply. Now keep in mind, as attic construction explains, the higher the R value of an insulation product, the more effectively it can prevent heat transfer. Now, one thing the Grand Sales Consultant explained to me, which is fairly common with Grand Homes, is they said you could add additional sheathing. Like Grand Homes are great in that they are semi-customizable like that. Like most production builders, I'm gonna tell you, you get what you get. So even if you're willing to pay extra for a sturdier sheathing, they're not gonna let you. Like they have one way of doing it and it's their way or the highway. But part of the beauty of Grand Homes is their extensive customization options and that includes taking sheathing to the next level. So if you loved what you saw with a Grand Home but wanted more than RMAX, Grand Homes will do that for you. Moving on, Highland Homes is another builder saying no to thermoply. Instead, they use Owens Corning R3 continuous insulated sheathing with taped joints. Now, this is still gonna fall under our foam board category, but Owens Corning website shows it ranging from one half to one inch thick, okay? And that definitely sounds better than the one eighth inch thermoply offers. Okay, so who wins our best prize for sheathing. Well, if Globe Newswire is correct, it's K-Hawk Nanian. 
In October of 2023, Globe Newswire reported that Havnanian Enterprises receives two U.S. Department of Energy 2023 awards for building energy efficient homes. They report K. Havnanian builds the most zero energy ready homes in United States. In describing a K. Hav community in Asbury Park, they report walls 2x6, 24 inch on center, R19 total, advanced framed, R19 fiberglass bat, 0.5 inches, OSB sheathing, synthetic house wrap, fiber cement siding. So we've got a builder who uses both OSB plus the house wrap. Okay, very nice, k -Hob. Okay, now let's talk about our builders who are coming right out and admitting they use T-ply. But first, I wanna tell you this issue is controversial. Builders who are using T-ply are standing by their choice. Uh, your facts about it are that it is as thin as cardboard but you have your advocates saying that it's the better choice. You have the site probuilder.com that goes into all kinds of reasons as to why it is the superior solution. Their article is called Solved Structural Sheathing. Their preface is, as lumber shortages cause wood prices to skyrocket, the cost to build and buy homes is increasing. OX Thermoply Advanced Structural Sheathing helps builders cut costs without sacrificing performance. Now, this article was written in the height of the pandemic, okay? And that's when we really began to see T-ply used en masse. Like lumber shortages were sending prices skyrocketing. And it wasn't just that, like many times, builders couldn't get the lumber at all because COVID bottlenecked the supply chain. In combination with that, the Fed had lowered interest rates, making mortgages so cheap that everyone was out there trying to buy a home, which the builders couldn't build because of no lumber. Okay, so enter T-ply. Okay, so this is what Pro Builder says. Builders who have historically used oriented strand board, OSB, for structural sheathing are now feeling the pain of sky high lumber costs amid the coronavirus pandemic. Luckily, there is an alternative, a structural sheathing material that offers stable pricing, lightweight design, an integrated water resistive barrier, WRB, and a best in class air barrier, Thermoply by OX Engineered Products. He continues, Thermoply is made from adhered layers of high sized fibers and an extruded polyethylene layer that serves as the WRB. Thermoply panels are also much more pliable than standard structural sheathing materials. This flexibility allows them to significantly outperform OSB with regard to envelope leakage rates. He reports, no wall is perfectly straight. Thermoply's pliability allows it to follow the wall to a much closer degree than a sheet of rigid OSB can. With Thermoply, installers are able to get a tighter seal to the studs, providing a boost in weather tightness compared to alternative products and installation methods. Now, if you're wondering, according to Wikipedia, envelope leakage is the resistance to inward or outward air leakage through unintentional leakage points or areas in the building envelope. So ProBuilder is arguing that T-ply can wrap more securely than OSB board because it's flexible. So they would argue that flexibility is a good thing. You know, and can we all agree with 100 degree temperatures? Okay, we are all about that building envelope being sealed. ProBuilder even says Thermoply is a proven structural sheathing solution that has been used for the past 50 years on more than 5 million homes. The product's performance and price stability have made it the preferred structural sheathing for builders throughout the country. In fact, every top 10 builder in the United States is currently utilizing Thermoply for residential construction jobs. Now, in my research into T-Ply, I came across the website, the Journal of Light Construction. They had a forum where everyone was talking about sheathing. One commentator said that if someone is using styrofoam, he would want to be sure a structural engineer who engineered the house has built bracing into it in other ways. So you have two very different opinions here. And I actually, I would love to hear your opinions. Okay, so please comment below. All right, but I will tell you this, okay? A very pivotal issue with whether T-ply is an acceptable product has to do with exactly what that commentator said. If a builder uses T-ply, 
do they use bracing? I mean, it makes sense that a product that's just one eighth of an inch thick needs to have enforced bracing. Okay, so let's dig into this. Who are our builders that are using T-ply? And, and I think some of these are really gonna surprise you. Okay, our first builder on the T-ply train is DR Horton. We asked several sales consultants and they confirmed DR uses T-ply, but we wanted to find it in writing. So I took a bit of research, but I finally found it in DR Horton's publication called the 2023 USD Report. I found this quote on page 68. They said, continuous rigid insulation is a type of insulation that can be installed on the exterior of a home in combination with or in place of plywood, OSB, or other wall sheathing to help minimize heat movement between the interior and exterior of a home. One of our building products manufacturers, OX Engineer Products, produces a rigid foam board that when properly installed helps provide continuous exterior insulation. Typically, rigid foam board insulation would be installed in conjunction with another type of insulation, like fiberglass bat, to help improve the barriers of a home. Over 1,100 DR Horton homes added continuous insulation using OX rigid foam board on the exterior in 2023. I looked up OX Engineer products and sure enough, what DR Horton is talking about is Thermoply. But here's the real kicker. While doing my research, I actually found a buyer of a DR Horton home who discussed this issue with the sales consultant. The DR builder had told her to expect water penetration until the brick was up. The buyer said, I am told that water will continue to intrude till the brick stone veneer is completed. Okay, so DR Horton falls into our thermoply category for sure. Now, a higher end builder that surprised me is Shattuck Homes, and they weren't shy about it either. On their website, they report thermoply structure sheathing helps enhance energy efficiency, reduce condensation, and create an attractive, long-lasting home exterior. We believe that as the thermal performance of buildings becomes tighter in the drive towards more energy-efficient homes, insulation that can perform for the long-term in such demanding environments plays a vital role. Now, this is an example of a company who's like, hey, we use T-ply and we're proud of it. And again, you do have many builders who will say that OSB is bad for sheathing. Now, in an article by Tim Back at the Plan Collection, he says foam board in addition to OSB is an excellent choice. But is that what Shattuck uses? Well, in my research, I didn't find any mention of OSB. But hey, if I'm wrong, definitely comment below. Because honestly, okay guys, this is what you need to know about me. Here's the thing, all right? I am like a veritable sponge. I am constantly accumulating information. Like every sales consultant I speak with, okay? Every hour of research I spend preparing these videos, I, I love it and I love doing it. And, and, and we do that so we can better advise you when you're buying your new construction home, right? Our goal is to be that wealth and resource that flies in the face of everything the builders tell you that sounds convincing and worth spending on. Now, speaking of which, if we sound like your cup of joe, you're definitely going to want to check out our Let's Find Home questionnaire that you can find in the description section. Okay, so we have DR Horton and Shattuck both using T-ply. Our next Dallas builder is Bloomfield Homes. Now we have had outstanding experiences with Bloomfield. All right, what we've encountered is their sales consultants inform, they educate, they care. And they don't just try to push you into the sale. In typical fashion, when I reached out for a buyer who was recently interested in Bloomfield, the sales consultant gave me a detailed, educated answer. She explained that Bloomfield uses a red structural T-ply with foam board attached to it for a better energy rating. So they do use T-ply, but they use extra foam board attached to it to give a better energy rating and better structural support. So that's good to know because some of what Bloomfield builds is your more affordable product. In some areas, you probably could find DR Horton and Bloomfield in the same price points. So knowing what you do about sheathing, Bloomfield is probably going to be your better choice. Another home using T-ply is Impression Homes, but just like Bloomfield, they use sturdy bracing. They use two by fours on the splices or metal straps. So you have them using T-ply, but keeping it sturdily braced. Now, something else I would say about Impressions 
is they provide excellent documentation on their standard specifications. Like I was very impressed with how open they are and the detailed amount of information they readily provide for you. Next up, I think this one will really surprise you. Are you ready? Another builder that uses T-Ply is Perry Homes. I asked several sales consultants and they all told me Perry uses T-Ply. So I searched online for a while, right? Trying to verify a written source that they use Thermoply. I couldn't find it. There's not super forthcoming about it, but every sales consultant I spoke with said they use T-Ply. After a whole heck of a lot of research, what I found is Perry Homes describing the exterior trim and roof phase in detail, but when they got to the sheathing, they don't tell what they use. They describe their siding and their trim and soffit. They don't say anything about their type of sheathing. All right, this is what it looks like. They say, this is sometimes referred to as the cornice roof stage. Once it's completed, the house is considered dried in. During this phase, exterior sheathing is applied. So you can see there, there's no mention of what type of sheathing. Then they say windows and exterior rear doors are installed. The eaves, fascia, and overhang are built. Siding is installed. For some homes, brick, stone, or stucco is installed during this stage. Roof decking and shingles are put into place. All right, here they give details on the siding trim and soffit. Perry Homes installs Semplank siding for all horizontal siding and James Hardy trim and soffit. Semplank is an extremely hard, cementious material that is impervious to rot, warping, and termites. The Semplac siding we use carries a 25 year manufacturer's warranty. So this is an example of how what they do say sounds great. Okay, they are giving a lot of detail, but it's what they don't say, right? What's missing it could you know, possibly be not so great. And remember, this isn't something you're ever going to see once the home is built, but it will affect your electric bill. So if you don't know to ask, you'll never know. So hopefully my point made here <laughs> is make sure you ask. When we talk about energy efficiency, low electric bills, a sealed house, sheathing has everything to do with that. In fact, it's important enough that I made an entire second video about it that you can watch right here. In the meantime, Wendy out.